Hello and welcome to JN Aquarium. Today you get to see Clownfish Rockzilla in action. Stay tuned. So as you can see, we got all the tanks filled in the rack. We got some lighting attached, the sumps flying, and I had let it cycle. And I've already added a few clownfish to the rack. In the sump, the fugium, I added quite a few. There's about 20 in here. And these guys all had flare gills, at least most of them. I still have to go through them a bit, but I believe they all had the flare gills. So this is where they're gonna live until I sort them out and uh, find some homes for them. Cause that's what I'm gonna do with uh, our breeding mistake we made on our first batch, letting a, too much ammonia get in. And it gives them these flared gills, which uh, are not desirable, but uh, you know, they seem to be doing just fine, to be honest. So that's the sump, refugium. Then up here, the first tank, I've separated quite a few that uh, have pretty decent gills actually there's a couple in here that uh, do have the the flared gills a bit but uh, they're ones we're hoping that they don't end up too bad like this guy here that's Nicole's favorite fish that we have right there that's her absolute favorite so we're hoping this guy's gills are okay we're keeping them anyways and he'll always have a home here but these guys are mostly pretty clean in the first tank and in this tank, these guys mostly have gill problems as well. And uh, we will sort through these guys as well and find them some good homes as well. Now this tank here, the third tank in the row, we're actually gonna add some clownfish to this one today during this video. These little guys here in this tank, this is just a small 10 gallon tank this has always been my larvae rack but that's going to be moving over to the new rack but these guys came along before the new lack rack was ready and they're just about three weeks old now a little over three weeks and uh, they're ready to go into their new homes on the rack all kinds of different color varieties some pretty neat looking ones in this batch. So I'm gonna scoop these guys out and they're gonna go into their new tanks to grow out. So we've caught all these little fellas and there's quite a bunch of them. I'd say we got about 40 of them. I haven't counted them, but that's my guesstimate. They look very healthy. They look quite healthy. But I'm wondering if they might be still small to not fit through the gates on my overflow. So I made these custom gates for my overflow, but I'm wondering if it's still not too big for those babies to fit through so I think I'm gonna have to customize it a little wee bit so I have this filter bag material here media bag whatever you want to call it and I think I'm just gonna cut out a piece of it and elastic it over the overflow just to make sure none of these guys fit into it so this now should prevent any tragedy of babies getting sucked down into the sump the only other thing I need to check on this is the water flow coming out and we have very good flow so I'm quite satisfied with this to add the babies to it that being said something still needs to be done to this entire rack and that is I need lids I need to make some lids for these tanks 
where I generally get my material to buy to make my own lids like I make these ones here uh, they've been out of stock so I gotta remember to go to a different town for that and then I'll make some lids so we don't have as much evaporation so the babies have already been acclimated to this water caught them in a net and release Come. A couple wondering how to get out of the net. They haven't learned all this stuff yet. There we go. So here they are in their new home. We got some things to figure out. I've never been in a space this big to start with. And this is pretty freaky for them. They've never been moved before. First time they've ever been moved. But I think they will do absolutely fine. Some neat looking guys. So we do have a new batch of eggs upstairs that will be due shortly to hatch and this is where they're going to be raised out right here in this end tank they're going in there as eggs it's a little bit big for a, a hatch tank but i like the idea that i can do multiple 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 water changes i will just do the exact same thing to the overflow i will cover it up with a very fine mesh and uh, we'll raise babies right in here. So thank you everybody for watching. I really do love raising these clownfish. We're doing everything we can to get it right when we are raising them so that we don't have any more defects. I feel really bad about having these defects, but we didn't even know. We were just giving this thing a try. So. Hopefully with this new rack system being able to just about have perfect water all the time, we don't run into that problem anymore. Thank you for watching and happy fish keeping everybody. Bye for now.